Welcome back. This is your Boomer Tech Guide, Chris Toy, and today's cooking demonstration is going to be pepper flavored pasta. Don't worry, this is not going to be hot pepper, but we're going to use sweet red pepper. The last time we did a, a pasta demo, several people asked, well, what about other vegetables? We did spinach before. So let's, let's get started. So ramen noodles, what's great about ramen noodles is that they're, um, they have a really nice kind of um, resilient texture. And the way you can get that texture is by using self-rising flour, which when you cook it, it actually puffs up a little bit. So we're gonna start off with about a cup of flour. And we're going to use this sweet red pepper. Now sweet red peppers have quite a bit of moisture in them. So we're not going to need any other liquid for this. So let me just cut that up a little bit in there. And we're also going to flavor this with some fresh garlic. And I'll just uh, crush that a little bit with my cleaver. And we're also going to use a bit of fresh ginger. And don't worry, you don't have to peel it. Just cut a slice off. This is about a teaspoon and one garlic clove. And what we'll do is we'll process this until this is completely cut up in there. And while we're waiting for that to process, let's make our broth. I like to use this better than bouillon. And I have about two cups of boiling water here. And I'm just gonna put in a teaspoon of this broth. You don't want the breath broth to be super, super strong because you don't want it to overpower the flavor of our noodles. So let's take a look at this. And you'll see that the, the moisture in the uh, pepper, that was just a half a pepper of sweet red pepper, really put in a lot of moisture. So we're gonna add a bit more flour. And since it's not even cut up yet, I'm gonna probably put in like a quarter cup more of flour. I don't wanna go too far. The texture that I'm gonna be looking for is a couscous, which will be small pellets. So we'll just let this process. So you can see that just the pepper, one, well, a half a pepper, will make quite a bit of, of dough. So we're gonna put in another quarter cup. Again, what's more important than the actual measuring, I know some of you are going like, oh, that looked like a little less or a little more. The, what's gonna be really important is the texture. So that's what we're going for here. Go. We're getting close. So you can kind of see that it's forming these small pellets. I'm going to process this, process this probably for another 30 seconds, I'll add a couple tablespoons of flour. I can tell that there's gonna be more moisture that's released. That's great. So 
there, if you look, you'll see that the dough is soft, but it's not sticking to my hands. So it's not a really sticky dough. And that's what you're looking for. So we'll take a handful of this dough. And let's go over here to our to our pasta roller. We're going to start on the widest setting. And yes, you could do this with a uh, with a rolling pin, but this is a lot faster. And what happens is, as we roll this out, it will actually you can actually use the the machine to knead the dough. Let me just take a little bit of flour here. Still a little bit, it's a little bit wet, but not crazy. We'll flatten that out. And we'll put that through again. So, just fold that in half. So you can kind of see This will gradually smooth that dough out. So I'll just make it a little thinner. I'm skipping over one or two of the settings, so you don't have to uh, necessarily go in lockstep as you're making these noodles. And I'm gonna go, this is, um, the, the thinnest here is um, nine. And I'm currently on six. And I think I'm going to stop on six, which is a kind of a medium. There we go. It's a little bit wet. So you can see each time I put that through, it's making the dough smoother. All right. So let's cut these noodles. And what I'll do, I like, I tend to like my uh, my noodles more robust, so I'm going to use the fettuccine. The wider. You can also cut these by hand if you want, if you want them to make them really thick. There we go. And we'll get a chopstick here. So here we have some great looking noodles. This is boiling. So what I'll do is I'll hold this end, I'll tilt it, and we'll just drop those right into the boiling soup. And to keep them from sticking together, you just, for the first five seconds or so, just stir them a little bit. Give that 
boiling broth a chance to seal the surface of our noodles. There, all right. So what we'll do now is we will add some egg to make it egg drop soup. Let me turn that down a little bit. Give it one more stir. And you can, when you put your egg in, you'll just kind of leave it in there or put it in depending on how done you want the egg. I like mine soft boiled. So I'm just gonna put mine in probably for two minutes. And so while I'm waiting for the two minutes, what I'll do is cut some broccoli. Chopstick size pieces. There we go. One more slice. So I'll take my chopstick. I know that I put my egg over here. There we go. I'm just going to submerge my vegetables right in there. Pretty noodles. All right. So again, you can time this. If you like your vegetables to be a little bit softer, you could put those in before you put the egg in. If you're like me and you like them crunchy, you can put them in later. You can use other vegetables. And what you're looking for is you're looking for the egg white. You can see it's right here, it's just starting to bubble. So that's telling me that that yolk is gonna be soft boiled. If I wanted it to be hard boiled, then I would probably wait another two minutes or so. But this is how I like it. The noodles only take about a minute or so to cook. So let's, let's see if we can get these guys out. Let me turn the heat off. All right. So I'm going to scoop the egg out. See if I can do that without breaking the yolk. Just put it all in there. All right. So there you have it. We have some steaming hot pepper flavored noodles. And with egg drop soup. Hmm. So that's it for now. Thanks for joining me and we'll see you next time.